Hey everybody, welcome back to the Highland Fox. As you guys can tell, we're not in the Fox today, but the race today at Spa was so good, we just had to make a video. So today we're talking about the Belgian Grand Prix, my favorite race. I love it. I love it. So good. Um, so let's get into it. I guess the biggest things first. Congrats. On Mercedes is one, two, kind of. So Russell won the race. One stop strategy. Fantastic. Awesome job. Great idea. However, after podium, everything's calming down. They go to weigh the car and it is underweight. So it was about three pounds, I think 1.5 kilograms yep. underweight. Yeah. So Russell is disqualified. His car is disqualified from the race, which puts Hamilton as the winner. So the podium had already been done. It was a Russell Hamilton Piastri podium. Now it is Hamilton Piastri Leclerc. Yeah. Which is interesting to talk about because Mercedes obviously has turned their car around now. That's the third race they've won, whether it was Russell once won. Mm -hmm. Hamilton's the first driver to win twice since, besides Max, since Perez did it last year. Mm -hmm. So, like, Mercedes is back, right? They're, they're competing. They beat McLaren. They beat Red Bull. They, they beat Ferrari. Really good strategy. Really good race. Russell, because he started mediums, went to hards, and one stop. Yeah. He did, I think Sons should have done that, but, you know, it's Ferrari, so why would they have a good strategy? But I think Mercedes had a really good race today, yeah. especially where Russell started, because Hamilton started third. Um, Russell was sixth. And so, I mean... Mercedes had a really good race today, so it's it's. I feel bad for Russell. Yeah. Like you know, because it's not something he did. He didn't speak right. in the pit lane. You know, yep. he didn't yeet someone across the field. Like it's just like ah oh, man. Yeah. And even Mercedes was like, "That's on us." Yep. It sucks. Yeah. Um, so it's a little sad, but Hamilton, congrats, and then it put um, McLaren and Ferrari on the podium, and this mm -hmm. was Ferrari's ten thousandth point. Yeah, because of all this mix up. You know, Leclerc got promoted to third. Uh, Sons got promoted to sixth, which gave Lecla uh, Ferrari 10,000 uh, constructor sure. points total with their first team to ever reach 10,000. So congratulations, Ferrari. But we still got to talk about you in this video. Leclerc did Leclerc things. He put the fourth fastest car on pole. Now that's kind of skewed because Max had a penalty and he was three tenths up from everybody else, five tenths up from everyone yeah. else. But Leclerc inherited pole. And typical Leclerc putting a Ferrari where it shouldn't be got past like lap three by Hamilton and then just kept dropping and finally mm -hmm. finished fourth. Yeah. So, you know, Sons couldn't really do anything because the car just wasn't there. But again, it just it makes you feel like we talking about Russell. It makes me feel so bad for Leclerc because he can put that Ferrari in just crazy places, but he just doesn't have the horse underneath him. Yeah. And I know Visser, the team principal for Ferrari, said they have stuff in the works of things they're going to bring, things are going to change. So hopefully after summer break we see something, but this yeah, just but is showing that like Ferrari keeps falling back behind McLaren and Mercedes. They're bringing that car. Like Mercedes, I think yeah. is there. Yep. So and last time Ferrari had an upgrade, it hurt him. Yeah. Um, so I think it's a shame because Leclerc is so fast in a car that is obviously not that fast. Right. Like, <sighs> and what I find interesting too is he's the only one that can race Max. Mm -hmm. You know, when Max races Lewis, he gets in accidents. When Max races Norris, now he gets in accidents. When Max races Russell, he gets in accidents. When Max races Leclerc, mm -hmm. they don't, they're, it's it's impressive to watch. It's a lot of fun. Yeah. So I'd love to see Leclerc up there. So Max has a challenger that he respects, I think. I don't mm -hmm. know. But he doesn't get in accidents with Leclerc. Or incidents. Incidents. Just an incident. Just an incident. Yeah, I think it, it, it was sad to see him start so strong, and he had a great reaction time. Oh, yeah. Like, he was able to pull away from Hamilton and yep. Perez because they the two and three were battling it out. Um, yeah, that first lap I thought was super exciting. Mm -hmm. And then Ham or Hamilton passed Leclerc on lap three. And then after that, it was kind of just like a DRS train the entire time. Like, yeah. obviously, pits and s pitting, yeah. but what would what you say? Like, the first eight top eight were eight seconds in between yeah each other. they were in a drs, so a DRS train. train yeah from the leader which is weird so once again i feel like spa usually gives us a little bit more excitement and the cars are just too close together which i guess leads us to the following point last year max took a grid penalty like he did this year he started sixth and made it, made it to first by like lap five mm -hmm. this year he started 11th and he finished what was it sixth mm -hmm. then promoted to fifth yeah so it's like you know, or fifth promoted to fourth, I think. Yeah, because he was chasing down Leclerc at yeah, the end. Yeah. So it's like, but even that, Leclerc gets passed like he's standing still against Hamilton, 
And Max had DRS on him for five or six laps and mm-hmm. couldn't get by him. Yeah. So Max for snapping and Red Bull didn't show up today. Mm-hmm. And it was funny because, like, all the practices were talking about how good Max and the Red Bull was looking. Mm-hmm. And then, yeah, today... Perez started second. Well, that's a... <laughs> we'll get to that. <laughs> that's another story. That's not <laughs> That's not the same as Max. Um, <laughs> so, I don't know. I felt like this was a really weird, like, why Does, wasn't yeah. Max... Uh, Does Red Bull pushing. worry? Is it is it time for Red Bull to worry? Yeah, Max hasn't won in what? I four mean, races how now? many points is McLaren behind Red Bull? I, every time I checked, they were because of the, the Russell. The, yeah, the numbers. I, I want to say it was fifty something. Oh, I thought it was forty. Something. Was it forty? Um, but other like I don't know. They're they're closing it. They're closing the gap, and it's not like oh seventy points. It's like McLaren's had ten straight podiums, and Red Bull's not on the podium today. Yeah, I think so, I think it's time for Red Bull to worry about constructor at least. I still think it, Max is too far ahead. Yeah, I, I but, do think Max is still going to take it because he had such a strong start to the season. Right. But overall, constructor, I don't know. I I think they do need to worry because Perez started second and did not finish second, and finished eighth. He, needed. He had Max pass him in the same machinery. Right. And fall. He kept falling back. Yep. Um, now I know they did pit Perez at a weird time, yeah. So they weren't battling Perez and Max weren't battling each other, so maybe that caused some problems with his race. Mm. But <laughs> but it just still looks bad. No, so I don't know. This was a good race. It wasn't as exciting as we had hoped. Still, some stuff happened, especially at the end after Russell got disqualified. Uh, now is the sad part of the season. We got a month break until we're done, and we get back at Netherlands, right? Yeah. So, hope you guys enjoy the summer break. Comment down below what you guys are doing. Uh, if you could help us out, we're like and subscribe. We're at 83 subscribers. We're so close to 100. So oh, my give, gosh. I know. Exciting, right? We appreciate you guys. Thanks, and have a good summer break.